Hi everyone, I'm back. Um, I'm Shannon from Captivating Compass and I'm here to share with you today a curriculum review about exercise and sports physiology by Greg Landry. It is a self-paced course, it's seven weeks long, um, and you can actually bump it out to be a full 12 to 15 weeks if you do it right. And so we're gonna talk a little bit about that too. So what I wanna share with you today are the 10 things that homeschool moms love about exercise and sports physiology, which is the self-paced course over at College Prep Science. All right, so, but first of all, I need to let you know that I received the product from, the, from College Prep Science for free and I was compensated for my time but I was not required to give a positive review. All of the opinions are 100% my own. All right, so the first thing about this course, one, it's self-paced, but he always starts out with proper note-taking and lab report writing. And I just love this because really critical thinking skills are what our kids need these days. And so they start out from the get-go with any of the self-paced courses that Greg Landry has they always start out with teaching and refreshing and reminding kids how to do proper note taking whether that involves sketches or writing procedures or filling out lab reports that different type of thing um, depending on the science course that they're taking there so i really love that it promotes critical thinking the other thing i really enjoy about this course is that it's really strong with an anatomy foundation and that helps you understand the physiology. So he starts out first by talking about structure and muscles and then moves into other sections about physiology. And so you can see from the picture here from within the digital workbook that he gives great names and color um, combinations. So it's easy to find the different pieces of the anatomy and the physiology. He explains them well and it's really um, really laid out. I really like the way the workbook is laid out to um, um, just really provide effective and concise learning as you follow along with the various videos. So digital worksheets are my game. It's true. We do almost, I would say we're between 85 and 95 percent digital curriculum only in our house, in our homeschool. So I love that this course has digital worksheets. So you can print them out if you want and do them that way. But if you are already set up to be filling out um, forms or PDFs digitally, you can make that work with this course. So they can do everything digital within the PDF and then they can download it, they can save it and download it, upload it if you use some type of system to for grading or for turning in assignments you're able to do it all digitally so the worksheets are super easy to follow along with and they can be used for note taking and then sometimes i come back and with the different worksheets i will use them again as part of tests or quizzes so i'll have them do them first as the worksheet as part of the lesson as they're walking through the videos and then i'll go and pull them again and just maybe print the page or make a digital copy of certain pages and use those for the quizzes and tests so what else here what is number four is where we're at number four five and six okay so i really like this course it's sports physiology and I like it because it really lends itself to kinesthetic learning. That's hard for me to say. So it really works with a variety of learning styles, but this is one of those courses where if you have a kid that just needs to be moving around while they learn, whether that's jumping on a trampoline, maybe they're sitting on a stationary bike pedaling, or they're on the treadmill, um, it really lends itself to that. They can listen and follow along with Professor Landry in the videos. They can pause from the exercise, work on the worksheets, and go back and forth as they need to. So it's set up to be really able to adapt to different learning styles for different students. Number five there, it is a perfect companion for building out um, a project for maybe health or PE. And so it's a standalone, it's a seven week course, seven units. So some units might take you a little bit longer, some might be a little bit shorter, but I do like that with, if you want to build it out with a particular additional unit study, it really lends itself 
to expanding a project for a high school credit um, curriculum or unit study that is much broader in in um, I would say I guess just the project side of things where you, if you want to build a exercise routine around it and have that be something you're doing at the same time or in addition it works really good because they have the understanding on the physiology and exercise and then they put it into practice with some type of hands-on project or active project if you will all right i've already mentioned number six a little bit but that is about making it part of a home exercise routine that you can turn into a class credit okay so if you have seen my 12 week exercise plan then you know that i have a 12 weeks of exercises i didn't very much um focus on the anatomy and physiology because that's not my wheelhouse um, so i'm going to leave that to other people like those over at college prep science and so you can combine the things like that if you already have an exercise routine turn it into class credit by adding in the exercise and physiology component and some other health related resources and boom you've got it it's all done there so that makes for great high school pe credit which sometimes for homeschoolers is a little bit hard to come by especially in like in the winter months or the cold months so the other thing number seven i really like that Professor Landry answers the why question about exercise. So, you know, we all know we should, and we all know what happens if we don't, right? But he takes it down and he explains what our body needs and why we need it when it comes to exercise, when it comes to the physiology and how we're made. And he puts it in a way that is really super understandable, super easy to grasp the different concepts that might um, other places I've seen a little bit complicated and that type of thing. So it's really, he, like I said, he simply explains the importance of an active lifestyle. That's what it comes down to. That's what we all want for our kids and our families. So keep that one in mind. And number eight, come on, number eight, there it is. You know, number eight, I really like that he's done a great job with the diagrams and the definitions. We saw that at the beginning of the video and the review, but he uses proper medical terms and proper diagrams to explain the anatomy and physiology. And he does it in such a way that it's really clean, really simple. It's not overcomplicated on the worksheets. He provides color worksheets that you can look at and then the black and white ones for you to go back and fill in as part of the homework. So it makes really good for the repetition of the learning and also the hands-on piece of writing in and labeling the different parts of the body and the different bones and the different muscles and the different organs. Um, number nine is kind of threefold. I really like it because it's flexible, it's reliable, and it's engaging. So it fits our busy homeschool lifestyle. We can um, jump online and do it when it fits our schedule we don't it's not a live class so we don't have to kind of pigeonhole it into a certain time or day of the week although some of those classes those are really great to have as well but if you're looking for something that's a little bit more flexible this is a great course for that it's reliable in that uh, professor landry really knows this stuff he knows his anatomy and physiology and he knows how to make it engaging for the kids and that's the last one it's really engaging it's cut co the colorful workbooks that you can use digitally or you can print them out are really handy tools. You will go back and use some of those resources again and again, whether you use it for different students along the way, or you go ahead and um, combine it with other aspects of your learning throughout the year. Okay, so the last one is really all of it together. I said 10, I know I mentioned 10, slide say nine but you know what that happens in homeschool doesn't it so it's all good but you know what you can do you can start your self-paced class today you just go and grab it over at homeschool science and um also college prep science so that it's the same place and you can get started with professor landry and the self-paced course anytime and i hope you do it soon it's perfect for the winter months and it is also a lot of fun and it's engaging. And you can see just by the workbook pictures here how um, easy it is to implement and understand. So I'm Shannon. I'm over at Captivating Compass where we teach you how to use the world as your classroom. 
So I provide homeschool travel and learning resources. So we have virtual resources for learning. I also do curriculum reviews. I offer tools to help you get the most out of your family travel, whether that's international or local and regional. And I really love providing resources for basically everything you need to turn any homeschool subject into a family travel adventure. So whether you're learning exercise and physiology so you can go hike a mountain or do a big long trek um, or go on a mech, an epic road trip that involves hiking and camping and canoeing, um, different things, whatever it is, or if you just love museums like I do, it's a great place. And I hope to see you over there and I hope to see you in different reviews for variety of different resources that we uh, want to tell you about here at Captivating Compass. Okay, that's it for today. Have a wonderful time and stay captivated.